late summer of 2020, I settled to explore the Dogfish, a small and rather obscure river in South Central Ontario. Surrounded by much bigger and well-known rivers such as the Magnetowan and the Shawanaga, you would hardly notice it exists unless you look for it. What drew me to this unassuming river was all the hash marks on the topo map, indicating falls and rapids. I couldn't resist. It took some creative planning to make this trip into a loop, but once it was done, I brought aboard some eager friends to join me on this adventure of exploration and discovery. Along with me, I had my friend Heather and her dog Jake, and two new tripping friends, Dave and Scott, to round out the team. In order to make the most of our three-day outing, we opted to head out after work the day before and camp near our planned access point. It would make for a long day, but it would help us get to an early start on day one. some studies this was through when you're in university yeah yeah so she got really excited when we passed the little very very small town of Arbeg Arbeg so she definitely recognizes this place I know you can't see very much at this point but there's another ATV trail off to the side yeah so cool well we're just on a clear lake road and we just saw a rattlesnake and thankfully, we didn't uh, kill it. It's, it uh, got in between the wheels. Holy. Yeah, All right. We should drive a little bit slower because I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> And there was yeah. another one just be up there, too. Can you move the light closer? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's a rattlesnake. There yeah, you go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we ran one over earlier. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I feel like when I work at night. Yeah. So we are now on a seasonal road and uh, it's definitely got a little more narrower and the road a little more rough, but still it's pretty good. Definitely seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> So for the last couple of kilometers, the road has narrowed down considerably and you really do need a road, uh, vehicle with clearance. Maybe not so much 4x4, four four, but it certainly would help. But we got deep pools, we got all kinds of ruts, we got rocks, um, just climbs, it's just everything. And it's a Rock. lot of fun driving here, but we are crawling along. And surprisingly, behind Dave, there's actually two more other trucks. So we're just wondering if they're all going to the same place. But as you can see, we're just crawling. You might not be able to see too well with a hat just of the headlights, but uh, it is it is a lot of fun. Ooh. Yeah, we're just trying to not uh, damage the vehicle. <laughs> and the dog's head. Yeah. <laughs> but we hope to capture this in the daylight as we come back to give you a better idea of what kind of roads uh, we're driving on. But the end is in sight. It's coming. We finally arrived at the lake to find a fair number of people already there. It looked to be a popular Crown Land camping spot. We soon had our tent set up and shared a brew while chatting with some locals before we crashed for the night. How many K do you think that whole gig is? If I had to guess, I guess point. about four K. I I don't know. It's not that bad on a quad. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty pound can you? Ladies first. Oh great. Good morning. We are on Black Lake, as you can see here, and it's a quite a popular crown tenting uh, site. As you can see, there's a bunch of vehicles behind me. 
and uh, so we just talked to some locals now and uh, we're just about to head out we've uh, put both canoes on Dave's truck and I'm gonna just go park my Subaru just in the big parking lot over there and uh, we've discussed with some locals um, how to best access Gull and apparently the trails are pretty rough and even with uh, the truck you'd scrape so uh, there are two access points and one's really wet and boggy and one's dry uh, But it's gonna entail like at least a, probably even a three kilometer portage So <laughs> we're gonna get it walled just at the beginning So it's good to know just because uh, we don't really want to make things worse um, And we kind of discussed as a group whether it was better to walk through boggy wet or to go dry and portage So I think they kind of uh, agreed that they want to do the dry and long portage instead so that's what we're gonna do. And uh, so we're just about to head out. I'm just gonna go and move the vehicle and the trip is about to start. It's blue. Just a clear, clear sky. So this is the turn off um, to the sand pit where we can park and then it's going to be a little bit of a trek down but the road here is in uh, decent condition here. That's what they said would be not too bad. Yeah, I think that's what he said, the people camp here too. Okay, we are just at the sand pit, as you can clearly see. Um, there are some people camped here with uh, side-by-sides and ATVs. And uh, they have gone down to Gull Lake, uh, but they haven't gone down this way. So we're going to take the road that goes to the left, like the, the other guys had told us. And we imagine, I mean, as a crow flies, it'll be about 2K, but it could possibly be about 3K. Uh, as we're weaving through the road and uh, the guys are just finishing the last minute touches to the packs and so we're going to take the packs down uh, make sure that we get to the lake and then we'll come back for the canoes and the rest of the year soon we'll be on the trail okay so it's 9 30 now and we are on the way to gull lake um, should be drier might be a little longer we didn't expect to portage right off the bat but uh, based on local knowledge this seems to be the better route to go so we're gonna make sure that we get down to the end to the lake drop off right here we'll come back for the canoe and uh, then we'll be back on the water or not back on the back on finally on the water <laughs> what am I saying back on the water So we got some deep pools. This is where it's starting to get a little wet. And uh, this is where you potentially can get stuck. The muck is really uh, thick and uh, wet. But for the most part, the road has been pretty dry and uh, easy to follow. We're just hoping that we're on the right one. We had to turn around because we went left and it was just taking us parallel to the road. So I think this one is better. Anyhow, we'll just keep heading towards the lake, even if we have to bushwhack, we'll just find a way there. So there's tons of pools of water, and this one looks like a small pond. You can only imagine how much fun these guys have when they're going through here with their ATVs. Ooh! What? Whoa! Fat dogs in the water! <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like that, buddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we've reached the point where um, Gull Lake is actually to the left of us if we bushwhack straight into the bush. So we're going to continue a little more on the road. We can see the clearing 
just beyond but we don't know if this road will actually turn that way so we might actually have to bushwhack over to the left because you see the road continues not the way we want we want to actually go that way so yeah it's turning to the right uh, decisions decisions So we're just bushwhacking now and trying to get access to the lake just through the bush because the road uh, passed the closest point. So we're just going to keep making our way down. We can see the blue clearing over there. That's likely where the lake is. Oh yeah, you're ready the drainage, eh? Yep. yep. Cool. We're just down in this natural drainage here and there's some uh, nice granite small cliffs beside us. We we'll just keep making our way over to the lake. Hot work. Sweat's dripping. And we can see the lake. Nice. Almost there. Here we are, Gull Lake. Better to just go through the bush or walk through this? Oh yeah, um, it could be a floating bog. We can try going through, and if we start to sink, we can turn in. But let's go. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. All right, so we just made it to the edge of Gull Lake. So we'll just leave our whoops, stuff down here. We'll come back for it. Nice work, guys. <laughs> nice, Dave. You guys. They said doggles. They? doggles. <laughs> yeah, but they called them doggles. Yeah. I was like, Anita was telling me about them. I'm like, what? So we just got out of the marsh and you can see it rises right up here and we're in this narrow valley and you can see there's a drainage here which flows into the marsh. We're just going to follow all the way back up to the road and we're going to cut some distance because we don't have to go like in an L shape, pretty much straight right to the road. It's beautiful in here though. Look at that. The cliffs. So most of us drink Gatorade. That's mm. like your third handful. Yeah, that's high density. You're gonna be, you're gonna have a freaking diabetic coma. <laughs> oh my god. So you don't believe in you're you're that oh man. It's not even a powder. It's like yeah, it doesn't come in powder. Yeah, it's like always sort of soggy. Well, she, no, it starts as, as powder, but it's yeah. been exposed to moisture. That's yeah, why it picks up moisture. Mine does that too. You can't buy these anymore. Apparently. No. Okay, so I've started the portage to Long Portage to Gull Lake. Um, don't know what the distance is. Probably about at least a kilometer and a half to maybe two kilometers. You see Tacoma that uh, decided to drive, but they're turning around. Probably at the junction. Okay, so we are just at the junction where we're going to head into Bushwhack, pretty much to the lake. It's a little shorter than the first way we came because we cut uh, some distance off because we went down the road too much. But we're just taking a little bit of break, getting the sweat out of our eyes, and then on to Gold Lake. It's hot. Dave here is trooper. He took the Royal X boat. Well, I, I wear them for work all the time. And then if you do trash them, they're 20 bucks. Hey buddy, you tired? He's so exhausted. <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> you talking to me, boy? 
Can you remove? Are you going to make it or should we leave you here? Is there any birds in here? There were tons of birds earlier on our walk back. I noticed them. I thought they were still pretty chatty. For no woodpeckers? Or... It's, uh, it's not the time of year for birds. Please. Oops, cut. We're coming to the edge of the whole lake. This is the marshy section. We might drag the canoes from there. I think it might, you know what, let's just go. I might just drag it or. If the footing gets too soft, then I'll just like, drag it. It's okay. Scott had a little tumble over there with the canoe. So they just flipped it and now they're dragging it. Somebody in their canoe is done walking. Yeah. <laughs> Fat dog, you ready to be paddled? Yeah, we're just gonna drag. We're There's a little ready. drainage here, so we're just gonna drag it right over there. It's not much further. Come on, boys. How'd you like that swim there, Scott? What, the one up to the ankles, knees, or waist? Yeah, I think you kind of disappeared from the screen completely. Not yet. He's like, I am ready to get in the boat. Oh, you, <laughs> you might want to come back. Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm swimming to the island. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no. oh, you better not be filming this, you're a nurse. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That was no better. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank God for helping. Thanks, dog. <laughs> oh, good lord. So, what's your plan for today? How far do you think we're supposed to get? Well, Oh yeah, I mean the, well, we're gonna definitely get into Dogfish Lake, but my hope is to get through Dogfish River. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, if we don't, we don't. Okay. It just puts us in a good position to do more distance uh, the second day and then, and then have a smaller distance the last day, but it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. okay so we are on a beautiful island, well, other than the garbage, on uh, Gull Lake. And there's definitely evidence of people here. There's all kinds of junk here, but uh, people have camped here. Um, we're assuming that there's, there's some kind of ATV access to the lake. Not where we came in, but somewhere else. Of course but, not, no. We would never no. take the easy way in. <laughs> So we're just going to stop and uh, fill our water bottles, take a little break, and then we're going to slowly make our way over to uh, Lake La Vallee. Good job, everyone. Alright, yeah, so we did the uh, right thing then. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Okay, so fine. did you get so far and then did you come in through the creek? Yeah, or... I came down the creek. Like the four wheel is right there. Oh, so yeah, I have it in here. Oh, yeah. get out. You brought your canoe in with you or did you stack it? I, I, I dropped the canoe over there, brought most of the supplies over here, and then walked back and grabbed the four wheeler. Oh, is it just too rough, rough getting through with the canoe? So. Mm -hmm.
We were wondering if we would have to portage this section, but surprisingly there was enough water to paddle it. Well, at least most of it. Nice! <laughs> Here comes the boys. Jake, stay on the boat. Come on. He's <laughs> shaking. <laughs> He's like a cloud. He's, like a He's doing the log boat. roll. He's doing the log roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jake. And now it's just getting worse. He's going the wrong direction. Come on back this way. So the guy mentioned that there's a portage here. Uh, I guess the guy who owns the cottage uh, maintains some portage, but we found that the, the waterway is actually mainly paddleable. There's a few spots to get out, but probably won't be very long before we hit uh, Lake Labalee. Ooh, he's not happy. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Paddleable? I'd say so. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. This water is nice and clear too, eh? So we just come to a narrowing and the lake is just beyond there, but it just drops. There's a small series of cascading water and little waterfalls. How's it going, Dave? It's going good. <laughs> you can't be princess today. No, no, I'm not. I'm beyond. <laughs> Fat dog, if you could talk, what would you say? Fuck you. Yeah, so we're just going to take the canoe down this drop, pull it through that little squeeze there, pass through that, and then we'll get to the lake over there. Yeah. Nice work, guys. <laughs> nice job, guys. So, what do you think with a rock? That's gonna be hard to drag over. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll oh, carry. Huh? 
Okay. Red flower, red flower. Oh, yeah. Is that devil's paintbrush or fireweed? Uh, cardinal flower. Yeah. Cardinal flower. I think what we'll do is carry this part will be hard to drag over. Yeah. We'll take the two packs and then maybe we can walk the queue or something. Okay. Hmm. So maybe bring it over this way? Yeah, I think kind of. Over the. Just drag it kind of over that. And... Yeah. <laughs> oh dog! Oh. Oh. Did he jump? Did he jump? It was a part jump, part flung him right out of the boat. Oh, that was funny. Hold Good on. landing. <laughs> We have just arrived to Lake La Vallée. Woo! Just gotta help Heather here and Fat Dog. <laughs> and Who just got launched out of the canoe. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> Heather's hauling all the, doing all the heavy work. That's going to be where the cabin is. Huh. It just looks way too... Okay. Hey buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> Whatever boat will take him. He's kind of a floozy. Bad dog. Come here. Yeah. It's another beautiful lake on Lake La Vallée, but uh, definitely also well used. You can see lots of boats. And actually, there's some nice campsites too, but it's beautiful here. Really, really pretty lake. So if you look over there, you can see the boats on the shore. So now we're approaching the Narrows, and uh, we're gonna make our way. Um, it's gonna be about a kilometer and a half, or just a, just under that, to get to Dogfish Lake. So let's see. <laughs> so through this narrow it'll be a pond and then it'll narrow back down to a creek again. <laughs> Got it! Woo! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you want me to push you? <laughs> Dave! Woo! Dave! <laughs> yeah! He stayed up! That's how. What was that? Yeah, the chauffeur. Oh, the stuck. Good? Yep. Sending it down. Yep. So we've just come upon Dogfish Lake, oh, and again, cool. it's another gorgeous lake. Granite shorelines, white pines, just beautiful. Just beautiful. It must be deeper because the water is a lot colder here than it was. Oh yeah? Area. Not cold, but it's cold. Mm -hmm. What's the next lake after this? The next lake after this is Wilson, but uh, that might be uh, a little while. Get there tonight. <laughs> is that a boat on the shore? Oh, no, Wilson. Well, it's not uh, big, but it's. Oh, it's a building. Is it building? Such a nice day, and we are on Dogfish Lake, as you can see, and uh, we just saw what looks like a hunt camp. So we decided to pull off and just check it out, just to stretch our legs and get out. Paddling so far has been pretty good. And uh, just at the end here, we'll be entering 
Dogfish River. So um, we're hoping if the water levels are up, just like it has been so far, it could very well be a pretty good paddle. So we're optimistic. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna quickly go around and check this cabin out. You see some tin boats there. Oh, we've got uh, barbecue and some propane canisters. I think these are still propane. Oh, he's like, when you go in, but a bitch is locked, buddy. Yeah, it's locked. too long ago because this milk didn't eat it. That paddle is really cool. Yeah. All right, don't follow me. I'm going to the bush. Okay, we just uh, took care of some business, <laughs> went for a swim, and we're leaving the cabin. So now we're going to head to the end of Dogfish River. I'm oh, sorry, lake. And we're going to actually head into the Dogfish River. So we're being a little optimistic that the water levels will be up and that we'll be able to paddle it uh, relatively oh. easily. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what a boring trip for you. I know, I know. But who knows, we'll see. Okay, so we are on the west side of Dogfish Lake and we are coming into the Narrows and uh, let's see. Let's see if it's gonna be a river of paddling or a river of walking. Are we putting bets on this, guys? <laughs> if there's no water, you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, how does this work? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Dogfish River, here we come. Ooh, no sun. Oh, it's oh, ominous. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't look like low water. No. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say it. Looks... Dance brush. There we go. There goes one right there. Yep. Uh, we had actually had paddleable spots and uh, we've had a lot of dragging because of the uh, because it's shallow in certain sections but came around the bend you won't be able to see it but you'll see Dave down below it's a 20 foot drop and it's a it's a falls that goes vertical so we have to uh, portage the stuff up and over over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> 